everyone. Welcome to our weekly business meeting. Today is Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. The time is 2.02 p.m. I am calling this meeting to order and I'm going to ask Linda to lead us in the pledge. <laughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so the first item on our agenda, oh, by the way, I should say attending of commissioners Duncan Brooks and Filios. First item on the agenda is the consent calendar. Do I have a motion? Sure. I move that we approve the consent calendar as listed on our, BS, our business meeting agenda, July 30th, 2019. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Next item is the payables list, potential action item. I move that we approve the payables for the week of July 22nd through the 26th, 2019 in the amount of $1,209,472.58 along with jury panel payments in the amount of $1,915.74. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileos. Aye. Motion carried. Any changes to the agenda? Yes, I believe item uh, number 15 has been pulled. Okay, so item 15 is stricken from the agenda. Moving on to the first action item. This is rather lengthy. Uh, <laughs> renewal of memorandum of understanding for 700 megahertz radio, Benoit County Sheriff's Office, City of Hayden Lake, Coeur d'Alene Police, Eastside Fire Protection District, Hauser Fire Protection District, Kootenai County Fire and Rescue, Kootenai County EMS, District 1 Juvenile Detention Center, Kootenai Health, Micah Kid Island Fire Protection District, Northern Lakes Fire Protection District, Sagal Fire District, doing business as a Selkirk Fire, Spirit Lake Fire Protection District, Spirit Lake Police Department, Timber Lake Fire Protection, Worley Fire Protection, and KCSO and 911. Questions, motion? Commissioners, thank yeah, you. go right ahead, Colin. Colin Perry, County Sheriff's Office 91. This is the second round of the MOUs. Uh, we signed the first round about five months ago. Now these are just these are all renewals. They're all existing MOUs. This is access to the 700 megahertz system. They just need to be renewed with these agencies. There's no new agencies with this batch, unlike the last one. Straight renewal. Straight renewals. Okay. okay. Motion. I move that we approve the renewal of the MOU, uh, the 700 megahertz radio system, with the agencies listed. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Item number two, renewal number four, MOU with the Idaho Military Division, KCSO and 911. Colin again. Commissioners, Colin McRow again for the record. This is our. Uh, MOU, MOU renewal with uh, the Idaho Military Division, which uh, runs the statewide microwave backbone. It's, what's our, it's what our trunking system used to talk to the core down in Meridian. This is the fourth renewal of that contract. Um, pricing change is 2% uh, escalation per year as per the contract. Other than that, there's no change. Uh, this is just the renewal for going into the fiscal 2020 year. Understood. Okay. I had someone ask me the other day. Go ahead. What's an MOU? Memorandum of Understanding. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that. But I know some people watching might not know that. Oh, that. Well, I was the one that abbreviated it, but that's because I spelled it out in the prior motion. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> it's like, okay. It's kind of like my a, fault. Kind of like a contract and agreement. Correct. Good. Okay. Uh, motion. I move that we approve the fourth renewal of the Memorandum of Understanding with the Idaho Military Division and our KCSO 911. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Item number three, termination of the lease, FOMO Aviation at the airport. Commissioners, Linda, Linda Lee for the record. <laughs> uh, FOMO Aviation has sold his hangar to uh, Hanger LLC. Um, he's currently got a sublease with him already. Uh, Hanger LLC is a flight school 
they are purchasing that hanger from FOMO. So three and four kind of go hand in hand. Um, they went from uh, 3100 a year, so with the new commercial rate, it's going to be 4400 a year. Okay. Dave, can we include these in a single motion mentioning both? Yeah. Okay. Questions? Yeah. Motion? I move that we approve the termination of lease for FOMO Aviation and approve the ground lease agreement with Hangar LLC. Um, Fouché. Fouché. Thank you. Fouché. I second the motion. Yes. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carry. Moving on to item five. Cancellation of contract for public safety testing, HR. Hi. Kim. Kim Buffin, for the record. Um, the county did have a contract with public safety and testing to do law enforcement uh, testing nationwide. And um, going into this next fiscal year, the sheriff's office decided not to include that in their recruiting um, budget. And so we're asking for permission to go ahead with notifying PST that we'll be canceling. They require a 60-day notice. Kim, are we replacing them with anyone? Uh, no, not currently. Um, this, uh, Captain Edmonds can speak. Kim Edmonds, yeah. for yeah, the record. Um, no, we're not going to replace them. We're just going to go back to what we have done in the past, and that is test uh, within our own organization. So we'll run those tests like we did in the past. Um, what has happened is we've, we brought PST on when we had the 15 detention deputies to hire on, okay. and, and we okay. filled those vacancies. Uh, since then, our, our needs have changed a little bit more uh, since then. Uh, we cannot test uh, locally otherwise. With PST hasn't uh, fulfilled enough uh, local testing opportunities. And so we've got a lot of people in our market now that, that have to travel quite a distance to be able to test uh, for the agency that in the area they live in. And so just bringing back that local testing opportunity and, and uh, without the need to use public safety testing. So is potential saving? Uh, seven thousand was the renewal. Yeah, was That's good. Around, okay. Which was going to be an increase from the last year, um, but the recruiting budget for the sheriff's office went down a little bit um, going for forward. Okay. Cool. Questions? Motion. I move that we approve the cancellation of the contract with public safety testing. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Villiers? Aye. Item number six, Idaho Public Safety Communications Commission. Fiscal year 20, dedicated enhanced emergency communications grant application. Resource Management Office in conjunction with our Sheriff's Organization and 911. Is it Kim or is it Colin? I think it's Colin. Okay. <laughs> Commissioners, again, Colin McCroy for the record. Uh, this is the annual Idaho Public Safety uh, Communications Commission dedicated enhanced fund grant. It's a yearly app application. Um, this year we are putting in, requesting a total of $573,593.53. Um, that's two projects. One is a replacement uh, 911 phone system, uh, and the other is to replace our recording system that is the use at the 911 center as well. Uh, I know. Uh, some questions there was no there is no match it is a hundred percent funded um, so there anything that we put towards the project there's no percentage relationship to it it's full advanced reimbursement as soon as we start the project okay. how old is the phone in the recording system and then how long will this new system last um, the current phone system was originally installed in I believe 2009 with a refresh in 2013 so it's running on seven operating years uh, which is uh, slightly long for your typical IT. Um, we really want to get it refreshed. It's mostly servers and IT type equipment. Um, the recorder was installed uh, in 2014 to 15 year. Um, so that's due again for the server refresh and everything. Those have a typical um, need a hardware or some form of software refresh in the three to five year period is typically how they um, last. This, the phone system on this one uh, is higher because we are doing a full replacement is versus of it That's just fine. needs some software refresh or something like that. Okay, anything else? 
A motion. I move that we approve the Idaho Public Safety Communications Commission um, FY20 dedicated enhancement emergency communications grant application. I second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Julius? Aye. Motion carried. Item number seven, agreement with statewide interdiction training <laughs> relentless with relentless LLC doing business as Desert Snow uh, with our Sheriff's Organization and RMO. Who's Kimberly coming? Riley, for the yeah. record, this is an agreement with Relentless LLC to provide the statewide interdiction training, which is funded by the FY20 Partnership for Success Law Enforcement Grant and sponsored by Kootenai County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Questions? Motion? I move that we approve the agreement with the statewide interdiction or for the statewide interdiction training with Relentless LLC at DBA Desert Snow. I second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Zilios? Aye. Motion carried. Item number eight, customer service order for Spectrum Public Transportation RMO Resource Management Office. Kim? Yes, this is a customer service <coughs> order with Spectrum to um, install uh, the internet for connectivity at the transit center. Oh, okay. Questions? <coughs> motion? I move that we approve the customer service order with Spectrum and uh, the public transportation or the uh, transit center and resource management office. I second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Phileas? Aye. Motion carried. Item number nine, FTA, that's the Federal Transportation Administration, grant application for integrated mobility innovation, public transportation, RMO. Kim? Yes, this is requesting authorization to apply for a, an FTA grant. Um, it's integrated mobility innovation, 150000 federal with a $37,500 match. We'll try to um, fund the project with just the federal dollars. If we need to increase the amount, we would use our, um, our contribution from the local agencies. Okay. Meaning Port Lane, Post Falls? The jurisdictions. Other not jurisdictions. You have the jurisdictions, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Motion? I move that we approve the FTA grant application for the Integrated Mobility Innovation. I second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Phileos? Aye. Motion carried. Item number 10, amendment number 2 to the Engineering Service Contract with Great West Engineering for Solid Waste. Kathy? Yes, Kathy Mayor, for the record, this is the second and final amendment because we're closing out the project now for Great West Engineering. They did a fill development plan for us at the landfill and we had to add some to the project. Uh, the final closeout will increase the payment of $10,350. Okay. And is that budgeted? Yes. Motion. I move that we approve amendment number two with engineering services contract Great West Engineering. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Phileos. <coughs> Aye. Motion carried. Item number 11, amendment to the contract for administration or admin building and elections parking lots with Welch Comer, uh, Sean Riley on behalf of the BLCC. Good afternoon, Commissioner Sean Riley for the record. Um, this is an am amendment for the admin lot and a little extra work on the elections parking lot for the design with Wells Comer um, for $68,800. I do want to say that um, when it was presented to the board, um, there was about an extra $28,000 in there that, that we were able to cut out. So by having the county surveyor do the work, um, mm. then we are able to bid them now as one. So we're going to get the savings there. And then they had um, put construction management in for themselves, but that's what I do. So when we had originally done this, we didn't know back in the day what my role was going to be. So now that my role is what it is, we're going to save about $28,000 off of what they presented to you in the original meeting. Good news. Yeah. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the amendment to contract for the admin and elections parking lot with Welch Comer. Please second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Phileas? Aye. Motion carried. <clears throat> Excuse me. Item number 12, a contract for diesel storage tank for the generator 
Crittle Lane Service Station equipment. Uh, Sean Riley, again, I guess this is at the jail and with our Clinton uh, County Sheriff's Organization. Go ahead, Sean. Okay, so this is an agreement with Coeur Lane Service Station Equipment, CDA, SSE, to basically provide and install a 2,500-gallon above-ground diesel storage tank in the amount of $74,189.62. In a previous meeting, we had decided the money for this project was gonna come from the jail expansion. The auditor's office reached out, so we have all the coding of the invoices set. Um, this is 500 gallons smaller than the tank that's in the ground that has to come out. However, um, maintenance and we have done our research with um, the Sheriff's Association and 2,500 gallons is more than enough for what the 72 hour runtime is supposed to be. Um, it has a 30 year warranty on it. I need, not only can, am I asking the board to, go, to approve this, I'm also going to need to get a special batch in um, today or tomorrow so that I can get a check cut for this half down before he'll order the tank. The tank has a six to eight week lead time. So that puts us getting right into September-ish when, and we have until the end of October to get the project cut. So I've already talked to Lori Shaw and I've talked to Christy. Everybody's ready to go if we can just get a check cut. So we need to include in our motion that you need 50% down immediately? Yes. Okay. 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 David, okay? That's fine. You bet. Okay. Motion. I move that we approve the contract for the diesel storage tank for the generator with Coeur d'Alene service station equipment with um, half of it coming uh, in a special batch that um, the auditor can provide. Yeah. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filios. Aye. Motion carried. Item number 13, approval for the Hayden Area Regional Sewer Fiscal Year 20 budget. That's me. So just a couple highlights, um, which it was in our, our packet. The budget, the operations budget has gone down. However, for about $30,000, we ended up purchasing a piece of equipment and by paying off the equipment, in 2020, we're going to save, um, forget it was several thousands of dollars by doing that. So instead of the budget looking like it's 30,000 less, it looks like it's 114,000 more. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. It's because of a capital purchase and not because the operations is oh, okay. going down. So um, that loader probably should last us 20, 30 years. Now the 140,000 is that now that's obviously their budget and shared among the various uh, yeah, members so of we, the joint powers. Yes, so we we have about 1% um, okay. of their okay. entire 2,168,000 dollar budget. Got it. Okay, motion. I move that we approve the Hayden Area Regional Sewer Board uh, FY20 budget. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Item number 14. This is our final item. Resolution 2019-66. Trade in of equipment for buildings and grounds. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Perfect timing. Um, Were you yeah. eating donuts inside when you were No. Uh, <laughs> there was no word to say, so we kind of got out there and waited. Um, I just have a couple things I want to trade in for a new snowblower. Okay. Uh, it's all equipment, so. What, it, what are you trading in? Uh, an old box scraper that we don't use and uh, a big snow blade that we haven't used in six years. Okay. Yep. Motion. I move that we approve resolution 2019-66, which is the trade-in of equipment for building and grounds. I second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Phileas. Aye. Motion carried. Public comment. None. 2.21 p.m. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Boy.